Hi there. I'm Isabel Simon, your personal and workplace wellness consultant. And if you are trying to have a family and conceive a baby and are wondering how to increase fertility using green tea, I am here to help. There is actually controversial studies that have been done uh, in utilizing green tea for fertility purposes. Some studies have demonstrated that drinking a cup of tea about this size a day with green tea, either hot or cold, it doesn't matter, uh, have helped people who participated in the study increase their fertility by 50%, which can seem uh, like a, a big number, and indeed it is indeed. And the results uh, that the scientists uh, made was that it was the antioxidants that the green tea contains that help get rid of the toxins and ultimately help uh, you know, the, the body to become more prone to, um, you know, to be fertile. Now, another set of studies have demonstrated no results, no difference whatsoever. So there is two, you know, uh, sides of the coin, if you will. My best recommendation for you would be if you're trying to, uh, you know, have a family and for some reason, um, you know, things are not, uh, you're not being pregnant yet or it's, it's not, you know, going as fast as you would like it to be, my first recommendation would be for you to talk to a doctor. It may be that you're so stressed out that there's some blockages happening in the body that prevent you from, you know, becoming uh, fertile in the first place. It could be that you have some type of chemical imbalances, nutritional imbalances that are happening. It can be many reasons. So although green tea has helped in some cases, it doesn't hurt to try whether you're going to get a guarantee. I doubt it. Um, you know, healthy lifestyle, a clean diet, making sure you get plenty of rest, that you stay hydrated, that you do something fun to, uh, for relaxation, that you get your Z's, at least eight hours of sleep a day. All these will help prepare your body in being, um, you know, uh, a good ground, if you will, for, uh, for a baby to come in. So, but apart from that, I would highly recommend that you talk to a doctor and to a specialist. I hope this helps and that you learn a couple of tips today. I'm Isabel Simon, your personal and workplace wellness consultant. See you soon.